Good evening. Most likely going to be a VOD stream today. I don't think anyone's going to pop up on chat because it's late as fuck. 8.09 p.m. New Zealand time. I literally got home from work like maybe 15, no, like maybe 20 minutes ago. Just scarfed down some food, set up the stream, and now we are here. Okay, let's go. Let's jump in, guys. I want to finish this game. I'm curious what's happening. I don't even know where the next little bits are going to be. But let's do this. Hopefully it's not too quiet. It became very quiet compared to the game. Compared to the, the music from YouTube. Okay. Oh yeah, break time with... um. Oh my god, what's your name? Dorothy. Cool. What one? God, did I press anything? No. We're good? We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, we're good. Are you really offering a little girl a cigarette? Now. Now you're a little girl? I always am. Innocence. However, innocence, however, is another matter entirely. But anyway, thanks. No. Smoking seriously messes with my air filters and they're a hassle to replace. Don't mind me though. Smoke to your heart's content. Thanks. So, why don't you tell me about this guardian of yours? I want to know what kind of woman she is. Sure. Well, her name is Sophia Graham. G Graham? She's a retired PE teacher. Nowadays, works at the gym doing morning shift. She's pretty fit, if I do say so myself. She had a daughter. Apparently, she suffered from nanomachine machine rejection all her life. And when she finally healed, she was hit by a truck. Um. What was her daughter's name? Oh, we're gonna find out now. I don't know, I never asked, really. Are you okay? I'm waiting for you. Or is that a surprise? It's hard to tell. I'm fine. Yeah, wait, read? Well, I don't see emotion like you do. I have to make do with a combination of body hard readings and face recognition and context. I'm still a bit confused about some of the. about some, but I've gotten better with time. Anyway, you sure you'll find. Yeah, yeah. Scared or surprised she's not wrong though. Wait, does that mean your last name isn't really Hayes? Hayes is just my artistic name. Sounds more exotic and that's what people usually look for in the business. I tried other names though. Dolores Hayes, Genesis Graham. I tried Dorothy Warrior once but a legal team came out of nowhere and stopped me cold. So what's your legal name then? Rebecca Dorothy Will Graham. A bit of a mouthful if you ask me. So Dorothy's actually your second name. Should I call you something like Becky then? People have always called me Dorothy rather than Rebecca. For some reason, that's why I chose it. It's useful too. People have tried to falsify stuff using my name and they always get caught. Because they use Dorothy Hayes as their name. Yup. Only my mom, uh, Guardian, calls me Rebecca. So it's weird to hear it from others. What about Willow? Willow was my first sur my first surname actually. When I got registered, my guardian was married to a guy who had Willow in his last name. Shortly after I joined the household, they separated, so I was left with the with his family first, the family name first. Ho hold on. So your real name in short would be Rebecca Willow. It doesn't have the same pizzazz if it is if you ask me. Whatever you say, Becky. Stop it. It'd be like if I called you Julianne all of a sudden. <laughs> <clears throat> Whoa, that was anger I read just now. Lots of anger. I think it's weird enough already if you call me Jill instead of Honey. Weird, huh? How can you end up feeling associated with a name that's not yours? I have an uncle that always called me Tina. <laughs> he kept calling my cousin Tina Jill for some reason. Neither of us mind though. Neither of us mind it though. Because he's calling us what he thinks we're called instead of mixing us up. And that it's completely useless to try and correct him. But you know, maybe that effect is true for your clients too. How so? Well, you're worried about your clients not hiring you because you're... You, right? But think about how happens when it's announced that a character will be played by a different actor. Sure, it's a character, but people are also going for the actor playing the character. 
So you're saying to go for my role play instead of just mere role play? That sounds too far fetched? Sounds plausible, actually. Okay, honey, I'll take my leave now. Uh, don't want to take up all of your break. Thanks for the chat. See you at the party tomorrow. Bye. I need to remember to buy more cigars. Oh, fuck, make a note. Make a note. Buy cig. I'm just gonna make it in chat, why not? Buy cigars. I'm back. Did I miss anything? Uh, unless you count the worst pay per view main event fight I've seen all year? Not really, no. Alright. Going out? I'll have a word with Gogo outside. He was so hyped for that match, he must be devastated. Alright. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, I say. Good evening, Jill. How you doing? The nightmares have stopped, so I'm sleeping a little better. <clears throat> uh, how about your injuries? My bones are healing nicely. My wounds finally closed. The scars itch a bit, though. Well, that's good to hear. Are you by yourself today? Yeah, I'm running a couple of errands by myself today, but I wanted to come here for a while. I also noticed the big guy from last time is outside. Buster? Yeah. Stella doesn't want me being alone while I'm still healing, so she suggested taking him with me. Ah, I see. What can I get you? Something cold. Sure. Something cold. So something with ice, but girly. All aged, all mixed. All aged, all mixed. All aged, all mixed. On the rocks blended. There we go. Two aldehydes, two bronsons, and an, one cat, car, catramine, car, carmatrine, catramine, carmatrine. Um, on the rocks blended. Bitter, girly, and soft. Okay, maybe we can try another one just in case. So, sunshine, cloud, moon, blast, on the rocks blended. Sweet, girly, and happy. Okay, we'll make her this one instead. This seems a lot better. Six, one delta, one flanner guide, two carmatrines, all on the rocks and blended. Hi, Rika! What's up? How are you? Moon blast. I think you'll like this one. Really? <laughs> so sweet of you. Thanks. Hello. I okay. How are you? I tired. I big time tired. I literally got off work like... So I got off work at around 7.02. And I didn't get home till like maybe 20, 25 minutes ago. Late nights are rough. And it's not even like late, late nights. It's just late for the work space. Ending at 7 p.m. Not normal for a salary job. <laughs> but we're dealing. So, Stella. So, Stella isn't with you today? She's throwing a mega Christmas party tomorrow and is having a meeting today. I'm just helping her by checking on some of the things she ordered. And here I was, all ready to invite you to the party we're throwing tomorrow. You're throwing a party too? I'm sorry about that. I can't really say no to Stella. Maybe next time? If there's a next time at all. Ah, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. I I want you to know that I want you to have a good time. Have fun, drink a couple beers in our honor. <laughs> I will then. What are Stella's Christmas parties like? They're really big. There's lots of food and drink and music. Sometimes there's too much food though. So at the end of the party she lets the staff take on whatever's left. She also buys toys for all the children for her staff members. Really? She says something about taxes or whatever, but during the whole thing, she just shines. She carries a beaming smile that I don't see any other day of the year. Many of the kids have even started calling her Auntie Ella. Huh. Stella always does her best to put up a tough girl facade, but she's very much in touch with her inner child. Christmas, Easter, Halloween, name a party and she'll most likely celebrate it. And she most likely celebrates it big. Interesting. Do you like parties, Jill? 
Oh, sorry. Do you like parties, Jill? Mm, I don't mind them. They're a good place to see people. I'm not one to actively look for parties to attend, though. I just don't mind going to them. Ah, I see. I only go to parties that Stella is attending because otherwise I just stand there without anything to say. That and I'm not one to wear dresses, you know. You're not? I'm a tad too ripped and they don't look cute on me. Lies! Girls, ripped girls, will look cute in anything. That's just facts. Dresses, a suit, a collared shirt, whatever it is, they will look good in it. Don't pull that on me, say. Although, with all this healing I have to do, I would be as fit for a while. They're too, um, breezy too. I feel like I'm wearing nothing. Fair point. But I bet you look good in a dress, Jill. It's been years since I last wore one. I wouldn't know. Last time I wore one, I remember worrying my arms were too thin or something like that. We all have a complex, huh? I mean, even Stella has her own. That's hard to imagine. Oh, but she does have one. She distresses a lot. She distresses a lot about her bust size. Really, she's not that small, I think. I'm smaller than her, in fact. I personally beg to differ, but you do like the sporty golf girls, so <laughs> that is also true. That's probably why, and I watched a lot of wrestling, so women pro wrestlers are like hot as hell. Just buff, big girl, like buff girls are just mwah. Like my type of girl is just so too vague at this point. It's dumb. It's dumb. I'm interested in so many things. <laughs> She's a bit self-conscious about having a big chest. Really? Again, I've seen bigger chests than hers, to be honest. Although I guess comparisons are useless here. They rarely help with the complex. Well, she does go the extra mile to hide it. In fact, I have no idea how she does it. I mean, I've seen her before and after she texts them away, but I guess I never cared enough to ask the, the specifics. That's also why she goes. That's also why when she goes out, she styles her hair in those um drills. Well, it doesn't matter how much they look as long as they're a good person. So all same, same in the end. Facts. Very true. As long as they're like a decent human being that like gets along and wants to be with me. It's all that matters. They look a bit drilly, don't they? She styles her hair like that to help divert attention away from her chest. She seems affluent enough. Why not go through reduction surgery? Because she also kind of likes having that size. She takes her bus size after her mom, and Miss Carmine is quite proud of her chest. Puffing out of your chest is a sign of confidence, and a bigger chest means more confidence to show. She says something along the lines. She says something along those lines a lot. Okay, I'm not feeling this music. Still, has quite the admiration for her mom, so I guess breast reduction would feel like betraying her. Huh? I'm making it sound like she's hiding Jacobs or something like that. I guess in a taller or a thicker person, her size would be normal. She's just a bit shorter and thinner than the norm. Do you get self-conscious about your bust size, Jill? <clears throat> not really. More self-conscious about my height. Although it usually comes up whenever not being average height hinders me somehow. What about you? Yes and no. It's not my bust size, but rather that I look too manly sometimes. And I can't help but wonder if bigger boobs would help with that. You're fine, don't worry. Thank you. Can I get you anything else? Hmm. Do you have something non-alcoholic? I do. Give me a second. We do have non-alcoholic stuff. Well, let's just go work on those optionals and see which one is... So that's all age, all mixed, sweet girl, and soft. Cool. One, two, three, four. One flounder guide. Age mixed, no booze. Blue fairy, sweet, girly, and soft. Here, thanks. You're not one to drink that much alcohol, are you? It makes me feel sleepy, or at the very least, makes my legs go numb. It's an annoying feeling, to be honest. It makes me wonder what's so good about getting drunk. I mean, I'm not above it, but it's not exactly a pleasant feeling. You feel like you're sleepy even when you're not. Your legs go numb, everything starts sounding funnier than it really is. 
What's so good about not being able to control yourself? That's a good question. Yeah, that's a good question too. I, I really, I'm really with that. I don't understand that. But because I, I get drunk too with people that I very much enjoy being around. And it's good with or without the booze, so why do we drink? Usually people like feeling numb because that numbness helps them forget their problems. Even if we don't talk about alcohol, there's a portion of people that can't afford food or who are suffering for some pain that only alleviates when drunk or high. It doesn't sound really logical on paper, but then again, humans are rarely, if ever, logical creatures. Despair and pain cloud your judgment and make you do stupid things sometimes. Yeah, I've seen that firsthand. This world has an ugly side nobody deserves to be a part of. <clears throat> There's also a matter of addiction, you know. You start just liking the drink, but then you need more of it, and before you know it, you're hooked. Oh yeah, that too. So tell me, what kind of party are you guys throwing? Hmm, nothing fancy. It'll just be me, Boss, Gil, and a couple of the regulars. They'll bring food, we'll chat for a while. Hmm, that's pretty much it. Man, that sounds so good. At least better than the whole planning madness Stella is throwing right now. If you ever if you ever throw something like that again, let me know, you hear? Sure. Hey, say. Yeah. What do you plan on doing now? I'm gonna check one last errand before going home. No, I mean... What do you plan doing now with the White Knights disbanded and all? To be honest, I don't know. I never prepared a plan B because I figured if you can go with a plan B, why not just make it the plan A? I'm not the brightest person, so I never graduated from college or even high school. I could go for position with the police, but it wouldn't be as thrilling. And I'm tired of blatant corruption. Sick of it, almost. Ah. But I'm alive. Hmm. I learned something after that hell in Apollo Trust. Life is, life is not something that you can just throw away easily. Clawing my way out of that place made me realize just how much I want to be alive. The body count left in the bank was ridiculous, but I'm still here. So, I don't know what I'll do, but I'm alive. I'll figure it out sooner or later. Well, that's nice to know. Well, I gotta go. Bye, Jill. Good luck with the party. Please come again. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, hi, Mr. Detective. Uh, oh, hey there, girl. Give me a strong drink, won't you? Alright. Strong for Mr. Something strong for Mr. Detective. Perhaps something manly? Alright, we can do something manly and strong. Five Bronsons, and then we'll just optional booze it. That's like way too strong. That is so strong. Okay, maybe not. Gut punch. Four karma trains does not sound too bad. Three karma trains doesn't sound too bad. Two karma trains does not seem too bad. Service spike. It would knock out the drunkenness out of you or knock you out something cold. Okay. Maybe we should do this one. Two deltas. Four flanner guides. And then we'll make it like five karma trains. All blended. Nothing else. Cool. Oh, yo, I'm planning to go to a bar here that has no menu. And I'm very excited because I'm going to go in there and ask them to order or make me what they think a piano man or a piano woman would taste like. It's going to be so cool. I can't wait. It's going to be like pretty dope. But they just make that drink depending on the type of person you are, what you like. Can't wait. Underappreciated drink. Wait, what is that? Sorry, we just got a thing. An achi achievo. Let's see what this one is. I'm very excited for that bar. It's a very tiny bar. Um, the signs aren't obvious for it either, which is really cool. And it's kind of like a, what people call a speakeasy. So there might be some... There's a drink nobody asks for. Okay, so no one asked for that one, but I made it. Nice. Yeah, it's going to be fun. I'm going to order two drinks. The Piano Man slash Piano Woman or the... Oh, and just a drink that they think I would like. Very keen on that. Here you go. 
Yes, this'll do. So, what brought you here? Nothing special. I was just working on a case and I happened to be in the area. What kind of work? Tracking someone. A gun for hire. What about the girl, Crimson something? I'm tracking that girl. Did you just get out of that job? I did, but the guy offered a huge amount of money and, well, I just couldn't refuse again. Well, that's your life, not mine. I wonder though, there has to be more than the whole, than, there must be more to that whole thing than just acting as a middleman to look for some murder. What happened? What's being summoned? Oh, nothing is. Cool. Hmm. Say, how safe is this place? We're protected by the PTC property laws. The walls are soundproof. And I really couldn't get less of shit about selling info to anyone. Okay then, wait. Soundproof walls? Why? Did you see those vending machines outside? They're quite talkative and the best... They're quite talkative as the bat. The tw uh, language. They're quite talkative, the bastards. It'd be annoying without those walls. Alright then. Have you heard of Lord Lance Lavender? Nope. He's some big name from Kanye Vanya. His blood apparently has some weird reaction to Glitch City's nanomachines. Once in contact with the air, it does nothing. But if still fresh and touching someone's blood, the nanomachines will initiate a reaction. Essentially, they'll just eat through the other person's body until there's nothing left. They're using him as a guinea pig to see what caused what causes that reaction and if it could be used to fight nanomachine rejection. Uh huh. Well, turns out the Crimson Rose is his daughter. She left years ago to earn her living here and he hasn't seen her ever since. He could be lying, you know. Doubt it. Did my research. She really is his daughter. This voice makes me so yawny. Why didn't you figure that out earlier? I had no clue who was making the contract, and tracking all the messages to the source would have been too costly. Knowing who the sender was made, knowing who the sender was made, what? Knowing who the sender was made things easier. Okay, that's not me, right? That's just actually like probably a bad translation. Knowing who the sender was made things easier. Nope, that was just me. No, that was just me, straight up. God damn it. I see. Can I get you anything else? Hmm. What about a cobalt velvet? Okay. Yeah, my brain just could not translate English to English. God damn it. Shush, Rika, shush. <laughs> No, you English perfectly fine. You English perfectly fine. I do not. Oh my god, what is happening to me? Please, brain. Just until 10 p.m. Here you are. Oh, you actually did it. Were you expecting me to mess up so you didn't have to pay? N no. So it made you accept the contract anyway. Keeping in mind all the risks you told me last time. He told me he wanted to see her again one last time, or at the very least deliver her a message. He could have been lying. Yes, people lie. You made your point. Even then, I feel like I felt like I couldn't say no. I mean, I know it's like, I know what it's like not being able to find your daughter, what it's like to be apart from her, not knowing what she's doing, or even if she's all right. You do? I have a daughter. She's about your age. When she was a teen, we had a big fight and she ran away from home. At first, I just waited for her to show up, but then I started getting worried and went out to find her. I couldn't find any trace of her. Nobody had seen her. Soon, I was worried that something might have happened to her. I guess that's how my tracking skills and list of contacts began to grow. I finally found her, taking cover in some dumpster, unconscious from starvation. So yeah, I couldn't just say no to his request on finding his daughter, but I don't expect you to understand. So, how's the search going? I'm very close to finding her. That girl's pretty good at covering her tracks. Compared to her from before the bank incident, though, she seems slower somehow. Either she's let her guard down, or something else is happening. What will you do when you find her? I have this letter I'm supposed to deliver to her. 
I don't know what it says, and I don't want to find out. What if she tries to kill you? I might not look like it, but I can take care of myself, bartender. You don't stay long in this business without picking up a couple of tricks. Yeah, no, I guess you're right. Okay, I better go back to work before her trail goes cold. Please come again! Are you done? Yeah. Okay then, I want you here tomorrow at 8pm. No working beforehand, the bar will be closed tomorrow. Come dressed in your absolute best. We're all having a party after all. Alright. Where's Gil by the way? He stored all of our things in his home because of how close it was to stores. So, I told him to go home already and bring the stuff tomorrow. Hmm, I see. Well, see you tomorrow, boss. Hold on, wait a bit, and I'll go with you. Oh, sure, thanks. I know this is this. I know this small party is what you need. Zero mistakes. Hell yeah, we keep going and we keep doing good. Merry, merry, sorry, merry, mega Christmas. Let us celebrate Santa's resurrection as the mega Santa that saved Christmas from the Redmonds. What? Okay, save. Oh my god, I thought it crashed. Okay, Jill wanted cigars, so we'll get some cigars. Hey, Cheetah! What's up, my guy? How are you? Are you on shift? No cigars. Nice. I assume you're just taking a break right now. I finished work about an hour and a half ago, and now I'm just streaming. So, pretty good. I'm very tired, but I want to keep to the schedule, keep strong. I click buttons every 15 seconds. Fair enough. Yeah, I just want to think. Is it sexist to have an army? Oh, an army of robot women. The ones without artificial intelligence, mind you. The king of the West, Kanye, or Kanye, I guess, from the western nation of Kanye Vania, uh, has approximately 6,000 robot soldiers, all of whom look like the hottest girls around. But this... But is this show of quirkiness from the wacky dictator a problem? Um, those dictators from Venezuela or whatever just do whatever they want. They don't give a shit. Mariana Zimmer, 35, told the Augmented Eye during a street interview. They're all pretty hot, though. <laughs> if it was him, I'd have done the same. Why bother with the real thing if you just want to make them from scratch to match your every needs? More as we investigate. So they understood as well, goddammit. You really like these stories, focused pixel games, right? Yeah, I quite like these, um... What you call it? Visual novel type stuff. Anything with like a story, I don't mind even if it's a visual novel because visual novels are quite fun in itself. Cool, I guess. I'm pretty sure Kanye Vania went through demilitarization before. It's my jam. I actually don't know what my next game will be after I finish this one. I haven't quite looked at my list. I'm thinking maybe Yakuza Like a Dragon. Probably not because it's way too long. Or Shenmue 3. I think Shenmue 3 will be fun. Okay, we've saved. Let's go to work. December 25th. Good evening. Jill, I told you to come in the nicest clothes you have. You came in your uniform. These are the nicest clothes I have with me. Besides, you and Gil are in your uniforms too. Well, I can't really show up in casual clothing. I'm being monitored. What about the kilt you wore that one time? I'm so surprised that one didn't break the dress code somehow. And you, Gil? I don't have that many clothes to begin with. <clears throat> you people depress me. Well, everything's in place back there. Ah, almost here. You know, there was a time when people greeted others before saying stuff like that. Come on, Jill, greet her properly. Welcome to Val- Wait. Ah, ha, <laughs> ha! Man, if that's not a sign that you need to ease up on work, I don't know what is. Shut up, it's just become a reflex. Wait, Alma also came in her usual attire. Why'd you say anything to her? Rib sweaters get a free pass. Why? Silly question, never mind. Jamie came earlier too. The dogs went with him to get some ice. Don't we have ice? Try to take it out of the bartending station as a chore, so it's better to buy some outside. Huh? What are you doing back there, Alma? 
Setting up the food warmer. The what? I bought it three days ago. It's amazing. It looks just like a set of wires, but you can create a frame with them. Put the food inside it. Press a button and watch it warm. Watch as it warms up the food. Warms up the food, just like a microwave. It's an infomercial bauble, though. Really useful, but tricky to handle at the same time. One wrong move, and we'll be out for we'll be out of food for the night. Everything will be scorched in a second. Oh. So you, so you bought infomercial stuff too, haven't you? It's at the very least a good idea for gifts. Well, dynamic entry. Finally, at least somebody came after me. Is it weird that I've already heard that three times in the last hour? <sighs> oh, don't be like that. She's not saying it out of malice or anything. She just found it funny. You're talking. You're taking her side now. Jealous. You wish. You don't need to fight for me. We're not. I'll go check the microwave wires thingy. I'm starting to get hungry. I'm gonna lay a bit. Lurk. Alright, Cheetah. I need to change that lurk command. I haven't done that yet. <laughs> Love you too, my guy. Move back. Huh. Ah, hello, Jill. Soldier. You're late. Oh, wait. AJ. See? That's how you greet people. You shut it. I, I'll go help. Uh, um, uh, I'll go help Sweater Pops. Something wrong. She's not good with dogs. Oh. All right, we're all here, so we can start. Yo, Anchorage. Alma. I know what I said. How's the food doing? It's doing well, but it'll take a bit. Can't you speed it up? I've used these. I've used those microwave wire things before. It's either warm nicely but slowly, or burn that bitch. So, how long? 15 minutes or so. A bell will ring when time comes. We need to kill some time then. Hmm. Alright, let's play Truth or Dare. What? Alpas. Games are for kids. I forgot nachos. Oh, no. Games are for kids. I'm in. Sure, I'll play. Sounds fun. As long as what? As long as that must stays away from me, that'll make the time pass faster. I'll pa You'll play. <laughs> okay. Whoa! Oh my god, this is cute! Alright then, rules are simple. If you get picked, you pick truth or dare. <coughs> Excuse me. After you finish, you get to pick somebody else. We go like that until food's done. What about punishment games? Those are a hassle. Just issue new questions or challenges until the other person complies. That said, Jill. Yes! You start. Pick someone. Oh, um, let's see. <gasps> Click on the portrait that you want. Oh my god, we can actually interact with the game. Let's go with boss. Okay, boss. Jill picked Dana, who chose Dare. I picked Dare. Dare, uh, suplex skill. Suplex who? Suka! Da 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 da. Ah! Alright, Gillian. Alright, Gillian Gnut. Or Newt. Gillian Newt, get up. Ah, who? Truth or dare? Hmm, dare. Ah, Jesus. I dare you to lift Jamie with one hand. You just wanted to ask me something, right? Okay, then, truth. Did you or did you not have a brief stint as a bodyguard to a certain Madame La Laverne six years ago? Huh? Six years ago? I don't think so. I don't even know any Madame Laverne. Alright. That's one possibility off the list. Alright then. Um, Me, pick me! You, the dog. Come on! Dare! I, I dare you. No, I'm the one that dares you. Bring it on, dude. Um, roll. Sir, yes sir! You're not rolling. Sir, yes sir. Uh, whatever, you did it. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> Alright, Jay, truth or dare? Truth. Are there things in your head, your ears? My, huh? Your twin tails. Ah, no, no they're not. 
Oh, I see. I wonder how long until the food is done. Um, let's pick Alma. She hasn't been picked yet. Alright then, Alma. I'll pick Truth. What's the most embarrassing thing that has happened to your arms? Well, there was this one time when I got mugged on the street, so I, uh... I kind of threw my hands at the thief and knocked him out. Through? I think it's what you usually call a rocket punch. So you didn't throw it so much as it propelled itself towards the thief. Yep. And how's that embarrassing? It was just so cartoony. It's a bit embarrassing. It's a bit impractical too. The hand is a startup time after the reattachment. Yes, but why add such a function? Why wouldn't you add such a function? Well, because... Boss... Don't tell your arm can also... This hand of mine is awesome. My turn then. I'll pick Lorenzo. Gillian! Casemiro, truth or dare? Uh, truth. How do you manage to keep that stubble of yours the same length all the time? How do I, huh? I mean, no matter when I come here, whether it's 3 a.m. on a weekday or in, the, or in the afternoon on Sunday, you always have the same three-day beard. It never gets any longer, but you also never shave. How the hell do you do that? Well, that's a good question, really. Now that I think about it, uh, I do shave, but I use an electric razor and set it quite low, so... You're not saying something, but whatever. Anyways, um, let's see. Hey, dog. Dare. Uh, sorry. Dare. Dare. Then play dead. Uh, ah. Dying sounds. There's not much time left, dude. I, I just want you to know, bro. I always thought you were a oh, fuck boy. I'm dead. I'm so dead. Hey, Jay, I dare you to bury me. All right. I was joking, joking. Don't bury me for reals. I'm alive. I'm getting hungry. Okay, Dorothy time. Okay, then, Dorothy. Dale, do something freaky. Like removing my head? Removing your... Because I can move my head with no problem. Do you want me to remove my head? I'll pass. I'll take your word for it. Anyone want to see that? No. No, thank you. I do, but I'm not going to be the party pooper here. Fine. I guess it's my turn now. Hey, Dana, what do you pick? I'll pick Truth. If you had to marry Honey or John, who would you pick? Hmm. Probably Jill. Huh? I mean, she's cute, she's smart, and I kind of own Gil anyway, so it's kind of redundant. Speaking of Gil, truth or truth, fuckboy? Pick one for me. Well, where were you born? I don't really know. It's one of those things I can't remember or was never informed about. Strangely, I do remember an early childhood in the Arctic of all places. The Arctic, huh? Just, huh? A bell? Ah, food's ready. Finally. Let's go! You guys go ahead. I'll have a quick smoke outside. Careful. Oh, Alma came out. Truth or dare, huh? It was fun, I guess. Hey. Ah, I'll... I mean, hello. A bit late for the hello, don't you think? Want one? You know I don't smoke. True. You're leaving already. Yeah, technically, we celebrate Mega Christ We celebrated Mega Christmas yesterday. But I just got a message that Diana is making a ruckus. I gotta leave. Good luck with that. Speaking of ruckus, how have you been doing? Fine, I guess. All of this has held. All of this has helped me keep my mind off things for a while. <sighs> is it weird to feel the absence of someone you had no contact with whatsoever for the last three years? Ask Kit. Ask what? Ask Kadiusha. Oh my Jesus. Why can I not read? Or any of the old literature maidens whose spouse went to war types. I mean, even if you had no contact with her, maybe she was constantly in your mind. If you tweak the circumstances, it's not that different from one of you going to war. I guess. Well, 
Although the circumstances make me not want to. I've got to go. Careful out there. Oh yeah, you should take the chance and spend this time with everyone inside, don't you think? Yeah, she's right. Hey, Jill's back. Why does this look so freaking spooky? Did the moon explode? What's happening? What the fuck? This music is way too spooky. Oh, Jill. This is at the end of the night. Chapter 3. Dolce. Dulce. Dulce. Wait, we didn't even get to do the whole call. We didn't get to hang out on Christmas. Ugh. Rent is due on the 30th. And as you in the 30th, please make sure your account has the necessary 10,000. Oh shit. Or you'll be evicted. Jill wants to see if the Alex doll's beard actually grows. Buying it with a friend or for getting too distracted. Have a very nice day. Okay, maybe. Oh man, how much is that doll? Oh, 350. That's not too bad. From the cult classic video game, Yik. Beard grows in real time. Cool. Rent is due, 10,000 eviction. Jill bought what she wanted, she'll be good for the next day. Lit. Okay, five more days to go. So maybe two more streams? Depending on how long these days are. Anything happen in the news? Model Warrior returns to TV, Grand Slam Fighters. Is anyone to wrestling here? I became a huge fan of GS GSF very recently. It's a really solid product IMO, much better than the E <laughs> WWE reference. I like the match quality, but I wish they gave more importance to the mid card. Are they still forcing 66 America get into the main event? <laughs> yep, he's going to face Yusuke at the Dome show. Uh, why don't they push the great DK instead? He's much more talented than 66. Because American Kid actually moves merch unlike Indie Darling. You're Indie Darling. Ugh. I want to marry Yusuke. <laughs> he was up for the women's championship. That one should be the main event, not the turd we're getting instead. 66 is pretty good, just watch some of his work in Japan. Everyone tells me 66 was better in Japan, but all I see is locks and arm bars. Nothing that impressive. Boo this person here. Fuck that dude. Who cares? Say something better. Say something smarter. Anyway. Amazing how I know all the words, <laughs> yet I understand nothing. That's wrestling for you. That's what it sounds like when I talk about wrestling to my brothers. Okay. <sighs> Good evening. Hey, Jill. Gil's in the back sorting an ingredients shipment, and I've got things to do. The dog's in charge, okay? Bye. What? Wait, the dog? What? <laughs> okay, first order. Pet me. No. Pet me. No. I'm in charge, and I want you to pet me. Let's keep the same music. Time to mix drinks and save lives. Hey, Jay. Won't pet you. You'll pet me sooner or later. Won't. Will. You called. He said will, not kill. Ah! Who the hell is Will? Nobody. Don't be poor. Don't be rude with poor Will. There's no Will. Do you need me to psych you up or then? Shut up! Who? Me or Will? Ah! Uh, you go back to whatever you were doing. Alright. And you, stand by. Only if you pet me. Go. The fuck just happened? Well, aren't you spirited today? 
Welcome to Val... Ha, oh, fuck. Virgilio? Why do you sound so weirded out? You didn't show up with a bombastic soliloquy. Well, putting up an act can be tiring, you know. So it's all an act then? Wasn't it obvious? I guess. Would you mind getting me a Bleeding Jane? Okay, so I'll, he's not acting anymore. Bleeding Jane, yeah. Bleeding Jane. One Bronson, three Deltas, three Flander guys, all blended. Bleeding Jane. A Bleeding Jane. Yes, this is the thing. So, tired of putting on an act? Care to explain? It's a long story, and I'd honestly rather not talk about it right now. Fair enough. But me change your mind, though. Well, for one thing, it's safer for me now. The pompous buffoon act was mostly a way to avoid raising suspicion. Safer? There's a word that's been losing meaning lately. Wait. That was your way of avoiding suspicion? Yes. You do know how weird that sounds, right? It sounds weird. You know, you try not to raise suspicion, but you act bombastic in a manner that screams you're there. And everyone dismisses the fool as a buffoon and moves on. Hmm. I mean, you might be right if I were talking about hiding myself, but I'm avoiding certain crowds of people. Yes, my behavior might call everyone's attention, but then everyone just decides I'm harmless and disregards me. And depending on how erratic my actions are, I became harder to read. Giving me yet another layer of enigma. I... huh. Well, congrats. No offense, but I fell right into your plan. I just dismissed your action as those of a fool and moved on. You completely fooled me. Thanks. Say, can you give me something spicy? Sure. Spice, 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 spice. Spicy, manly, and strong. Spicy, classic, and sobering. It's unnecessarily brown. Spicy, poem one bad. Okay, we'll give him the um the Mars Blast. One, two, three, four, five, six. One Delta. One, two, three, four. Flyer guys. Two Carmatrines, and it's all blended. Okay, we've been mixing that way too long. <laughs> Mars Blast! Here. Aren't you fascinated by spiciness? What's spicy for humans might not be spicy for other animals. Hell. Excuse me. Hell, what's toxic for us might not be for other creatures. Do you like spicy things, bartender? Mm, I don't mind them, I guess, but not really a fan. That neutral stance is actually weird to come across. Everyone either loves spicy things or hates them with a passion. Do you like it? Oh, sorry, do you like it? Lots. Not only in regards to painfully spicy things, but also the way a mild or slight spice adds to a meal. I've always had this dream of opening a curry stand. As things are, I might actually pursue that dream. Let me know if you do. I haven't had a curry in ages now. Hey, bartender. Call me Jill. I wanted to apologize. Hmm? You put up with me all this time without lashing out. I should apologize for my behavior and thank you at that. Hmm, don't worry. I actually feel like I was too rude to you last time you came. Granted, you came at a really bad time, but... I should be the one apologizing. You're a client after all. Well, don't. I'm actually surprised that nobody else had violently lashed out at me yet. You're making me curious as to who you really are, though. Is Virgilio even your name? It might be, it might not. Sometimes I wonder if I'm a magnet for people who hide their identities in sordid pasts. Gil, Jamie, you... Um, did you say something? Just rambling. Pay me no, pay, pay me no mind. Now that I think about it, how did you find this bar? I was avoiding some cheaps. So, so, I was avoiding some chaps and came to this alley. Huh, again. Again? In my time here, I've heard avoided people and ended up here enough times to make me believe that the original owner built the bar here thinking about the runaway public. You make me sound like a criminal. Mm, you're not really helping. 
The expression runaway doesn't just mean people escaping the law though. We've had people avoiding stalkers or solicitors. I've seen people more shocked by an insistent salesman than a shady figure. Maybe because a salesman is a more active predator? Huh, I don't know. A troublesome part of the city right near the shopping district. Let me know the- wait. Let them know there's a bar and, you know, they'll come. Sorry, I should stop rambling to myself so much. I don't mind it. Do you think I'm sort of a- do you think I'm, s I'm sort of a criminal though? Like I said, you're not helping, but for all I know, you might be the buffoon I've seen the other days. In any case, can I get something bitter here? On it. Bitter. Bitter, bitter, bitter. So, Sunshine Cloud does not sound like something you'd like. Maybe the gut punch. Maybe, maybe. A pile driver sounds good as well. Suplex. Bitter promo bland, so that's not the one we want. Bitter manly burning. Burning could be good because spicy. Bitter manly burning. Bitter manly strong. Let's go with the bitter manly burning. Let's give him the suplex. Uh, three flanner guides and three karma trees. Rocks mixed. Here. This works. Do you like coffee, Miss Bartender? As weird as it may sound from a smoking bartender, I am not really. Well, I get it. It's not for everyone. That cat boomer the other day. What about her? Still scared of her? Not really, but she looks so familiar. Maybe you're mixing up with another cat boomer. No, that's not it. It's like the bandage girl at last time. Even with the bandages, there's something really familiar about her. Maybe you need to stop thinking about it. Answers usually come to you when you stop stressing out. You might be right. Well, I'll leave you for now, bartender. Thank you for everything. Please come again. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, what's up, Mr. Detective? And here we are. Another mute person wandering into the bar. Anything I can get you? Gut punch, please. Okay. Right. Good punch! All aged, all mixed. Here. Oh, you got it right. So, what's up now? A bit of holiday blues, you could say. So, you celebrate Mega Christmas? Why wouldn't I? You look more like a f festivist kind of guy. Why does everyone keep saying that? Well, Festivus is a celebration. Oh, I hate his voice. It makes me yawn. <laughs> well, Festivus is a celebration going against the capitalist madness that is Mega Christmas. And, you know, cheapskate. <clears throat> if you have something to say, say it. I'll refrain. Although, now that I think about it, Holiday Blues is not really tied to a specific celebration. Just the season. A season of consumerist craze. Mega Christmas is just a mockery of what the real Christmas once was. And I mean the season has slowly become enslaved to the corporations over time. Holiday spirit can only be manipulated so much. But then came that turbo male guy. He, he started a yearly tradition of dressing up like Santa in the ring. Turbo male? That can't be his ring name. It is. Really? Such a tacky name. Such a tacky name was accepted? His partner was Buster Master and his rival was Dr. Chris Max. Taxi name. Sorry. Tacky names were not a problem. I mean, I knew there was a wrestler that dressed up as Santa every year. I also knew that the guy became insanely popular and the stunt got out of control. And of course, that's the part everyone sings about. Santa became Nega Santa thanks to the Redmond family. Nega Santa sees the error of his ways and becomes the mighty Mega Santa, renaming the holiday Mega Christmas. And then every company jumped on the bandwagon and Christmas was Mega Christmas before everyone noticed. So you're telling me that the guy who somehow managed to rename the holiday 
went by the ring name Turbo Bale. Yup. That makes the whole holiday sound like a joke. The holiday is a joke. You're telling me you don't celebrate Festivus? Huh, no I don't. Do you know what kind of people celebrate Festivus? The kind that's so lame and bland that they can only talk about how they're better because they celebrate Festivus. Like, those jokes, those jokes you only need nuke and think they're better than everyone else. I see. Anything else I can get you? Get me a fringe weaver, will you? Sure. 32,000. Okay, we need a lot more for fucking rent. Sorry, fringe weaver. One aldehyde, nine karma trains. Nine. All aged, all mixed. Aged. Mixed. Click. Fringe Weaver. I'm getting messages. Here you go. Right, thanks. So, any issues with the city lately? What's the word on the street? Shouldn't I be asking that? There's nothing new, really. The yawns! Art, stop talking! The lynching of white knights stopped, so there's that. Really? Something about the armor. I haven't gotten much on that one yet. All in all, the madness following the attack on the bank seems to have settled down a bit. That's good to hear. You have any other details about the attack emerged yet? All records of whatever happened there have been long deleted. Security cams, system logs, everything was wiped. Whatever happened there, it's become more... more of a mystery now. I wonder if Say plans on testifying. Does anyone know if Say went there in the first place? Maybe the wiping of everything actually protects her somehow. Hey bartender, you okay? Sorry, just got a little distracted. There's not much to say, really. There's the odd silly rumor here and there. Like the vending machines, tasers malfunctioning, and applying more strength. Or that the writer of The Last Rain in the World is actually living here as a brain in a jar. But those are kind of the rumors you hear from crackheads. Crackheads might hold that one last piece of info you need, but you also hear crap like that. I see. Anyway, I'm leaving. Happy New Year, bartender. Please come again. Okay then, um, but... Wait, no, she's out. Gil, you there? Yeah, taking a break. Let me know if someone comes in. Nice, we got through half that day. Half that day pretty quick too. Virgilio wasn't being a weirdo. Art still kind of a weirdo. Save. Break, baby. It's safe to keep playing. Things are pretty quiet outside. Jill. <clears throat> ah, Miss Kim. Just call me Kim. It sounds weird to be called Miss. You seem to be in a good mood. I got some money on Mega Christmas. Wouldn't you be happy? I guess. What can I get you? I'll have a beer. Alright. All mixed. Here you go. Thanks. So, how have you been doing? Pretty good, actually. My hair stopped falling out and my appetite is coming back. Bum, bum, purge. Oh, I should have just deleted Ben. Whatever. My hair stopped falling out. My appetite is coming back. I hadn't realized just how much the newspaper was weighing on me until I quit. I suddenly stopped feeling defeated. I actually felt like I achieved a victory. Like, like I got a hold of my own life. Hmm, that's really nice to hear. Oh yeah, I'll start bartender training in January too. Huh, really? Yeah, I did some research and it sounded cool. BDC gives you so many benefits, so it sounds like a good thing to do for the time being. I don't know if it's what I want to do for the rest of my life, but it's a good start. It'll give me time to think of the next course of attraction, a course of action. A bit of advice, don't go for BTC housing plans unless you absolutely have to. 
You have to sign a contract for at least five years of service with a cut and pay and tips. I was going to go for that, but I backed down a bit in the last minute. How do you back down a bit? Well, I took the chance when the BTC found me an apartment. And instead of signing the BTC contract, I just asked for a regular one. I just have no idea how I got away with that one. I thought those apartments were built by them or something. Back in England, they are. They have their own real estate companies. Apartment complexes where they have that where they had the means to give discounted rooms to employees. But in this city, real what? Realty Nua holds an unspoken real estate monopoly. So BTC can't easily offer such promises. Oh. Realty Nua is a bit of a weird it's a bit weird as far as companies go. But the name has become synonymous with quality. A brand built around certain expectations. But the truth is that Realty Nua has done a little to no work in the last ten years or so. Really? I mean, when they started, they managed to sell and build upon plots of land that everyone gave up on. They became a big name as far as real estate goes, but in reality, the company itself has actually done less than you'd think over the years. Most of the time, they're cashing in on the established properties or letting others work with them. I believe the last 10 years or so, they've only started around 3 or 4 new projects. And they're all expansions of their already established ones. They seem to know a lot about it. Now, yeah, I've just heard a lot about it over time, especially after hearing my landlords ramble about them. I think it's all part of the course. I think it's all part of the course for real estate companies, really. But it's true that when you hear a name so much, you expect something. I don't know different. But enough rambling on my side. You must be thirsty. Hello, stream. What's up? Oh. It's just people lurking today. Nice. Can I get you anything else? Yeah, let's try a sugar rush. Okay. Uh, sugar rush. Two aldehydes, one delta. Let's give her a karma tree. She's celebrating. All mixed. Sugar rush. Here you go. Yay. Actually, Jill, I came here today to thank you. Me. Yeah. Back when I first showed up here, I was in a really rough spot. <clears throat> I was shocked, I was tired, I was a total mess. I even said some really mean things, but you had patience with me. Not to mention you helped me cool down and your boss saved me. And I don't know, I felt like I had to tell you all that before the year ended. Mm, it's much appreciated, thank you. But anyway, how are you doing? Last time you were a bit off. I'm better now, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Glad to hear. It was weird to see you like that. It's always felt like you were putting up a cool bartender act. It did? You don't? I, d I don't. You sure? What you saw as a cool bartender act is what everyone else had described as being cold. <clears throat> Excuse me. I mean, cold and cool do mean the same, but... Nah, I don't try to put, on, put up with that act. I'm sorry to disillusion you. I'm too much of a mess to do such a thing. Huh. Disappointed? Surprised, actually. What led me to believe that you were putting on an act? And more importantly, how can I make use of it when I can get when I can get assigned to a bar? You must investigate further. Good luck with that. Say, let's try something bubbly now. All right, bubbly drink. Okay. Bubbly. So bubbly, I can think of as beer. Bubbly. We're nothing but mammals after all. Beer bubbly. Cobalt velvet. Ooh, a fringe weaver. That's a bit strong for her. Frothy water. <laughs> Maybe a frothy water could be good. So there was three bubbly drinks. Oh, there are bubbly drinks. We can give her a bubbly cobalt velvet. Let's give her a cobalt velvet. Oh, all in the rocks mixed. Whoops. All in the rocks mixed. 
Here. Thanks. Hey, Jill, I'm gonna need some ice. Ah, boss. Boss? Oh, I know you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, nice to see you're fine. I'm more than fine. I'm alive. I'm here. I avoided my biggest mistake in my life thanks to your timely intervention. I, I don't know what overcame me. I just felt like, like, like everything was shouting. I couldn't stop the shouting, so I just felt like, like, thank you. Eh, don't even mention it. I just did what I felt was right, and Jill, ice please. Right. You are right. Did you seek help? I know a couple of people that could help you. Don't worry, I'm perfectly fine. I've gone to a therapist a couple of times, but he says I'm okay. I just... Something overcame me, but you intervened, and I, I don't know what to say. You already said thank you. Seeing that you're fine is more than enough for me. <laughs> I should have come to thank you earlier. I owed you that at least. Eh, don't worry. Just go out and be happy. You have a second chance, so use it as best as you can. I will. I'll be leaving. Happy New Year, Jill, and thank you again. Please come again. So, a couple of weeks ago... I read some news about a woman saving a suicidal girl catching her mid-air. Would you know something about that, boss? Maybe. Maybe not. Whoever it was probably just did it because it was the right thing to do. Why? Feeling lonely? That voice. <gasps> no signal on the screen. Hey, Joe. Long time no see. Wait, what thing did we just get? I just got a thing on Steam. What was it? What was? What was? Let's see. Trophy. Here's a gift. Did you miss me? Oh. Oh. Cool. Okay. 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 Hey, Joe. Long time no see. Really long time no see. Seriously. It feels like it's been over a year since I last saw you. I was planning on visiting you at least visiting you last week but things were pretty heavy back then so i just waited in the background until the tension wore off a bit earth to joe i'm talking to you here if i ignore her she'll leave i'm not an unfathomable sense of dread you can't just ignore me you know julianne stingray i'm talking to you mm. calm down don't fall for her taunts how does she know my full name though I thought your full name was Julianne Natalie Stingray. Or did you legally remove the Natalie? Never mind that, she's reading my thoughts. Yeah, I mean, they're kind of written in the middle of the screen. Hard not to see them, actually. Whoa, okay, so we're breaking the third, we're breaking the third wall. Fourth wall, goddammit. Alright, that's it. I'm going crazy. That's such a self-centered way to see the world. You assume that you're crazy because you can't accept that this world could be weirder than you think. This world is amazing because of the things you can't explain. And just because you only experience something doesn't mean it's a lie or that you're crazy. I mean, just look at ASMR. Nope. I'm pretty sure that's what a crazy person would say in this scenario. You acknowledged me. Shit. That's good. I, I want... I'm not serving you anything. What? Why? Last time you came, I had to clean the drinks I served you off the floor. Don't be like that. The drinks were also paid for with my money. I don't know how you did it, but that set... But that set any and all plans I had for the rest of the week off balance. I was gonna buy some curry with the money I had to put up for those drinks. Dog duty done. I know we have slow days, but for God's sake. You okay? You look angry. Uh, I'm fine. Good job out there. I'm back. Uh, boss, what happened? Meeting cut short. At least I drank the has hassies, hassy, hassy, the bottles. You okay? You look distraught. I'm fine. So they really can't see you. I mean, you're right in front of them. And you're wearing jeans under a skirt. Why? Just why? Why? That was so specific. To annoy people, of course. It's that new trend. What is that she, what does she think she's doing? Aaron feels like it's not quite right. Everyone thinks they should call you out. But they can't bring themselves to do it because it's not that wrong. There are things like sp there what? There are things like spats after all. It's uncannily it's uncannily right, not what it's uncannily right. Not all that wrong, but they can't stop staring. Not like anyone other than me could see it though. They could see it if they wanted to. Jill. Jill. 
You're making an awful lot of faces there, are you okay? Yeah, just remembering stuff. Man, I miss not being crazy. Boss, I'm leaving early today. And you, stay here. Who stays where? Crap, did I just... You have to be the first person I've met who mixes their inner and outer voices. I, um, I thought I saw one of the dogs near the counter. Sorry. Oh, okay. Can I leave a bit earlier today? Sure. Thanks for taking care of the fort. What about me? You haven't left yet. I'll thank you when you leave. That's not what I... Whatever. Okay, seven grand. That's good. No mistakes, also. Here's something in case you felt lonely today. Oh. Rent is due on the 30th. Please make sure you have 10,000. So we're almost there. Joe just watched Night of the ID Snatchers. Buying a poster for it will prevent her from getting too distracted. Oh, shoot. Uh, I didn't save. Oh, I need to boost that. Give me a second. Uh, let's get Kim a beer. One, one, two, one, one, two, one, two, three, four. All mixed. Beer here. Come on. Okay. Zooming through. Sugar Rush, uh, Aldehydes, we'll give her one because she's celebrating, all mixed, Sugar Rush, dun, 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 dun. okay we got her Cobalt Velvet. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. All on the rocks mixed. Thanks. Okay, come on, come on. And then Anne shows up. Sorry, Anna shows up. Seven, eight. Cool, cool, cool. That wasn't too bad. We need to buy a poster, but we have to save two. Save. Day 15. Ah, we're so close to the end of the game. Night of the ID snatches. It's only 250, so that's fine. Shouldn't be too expensive. Looking at the poster, Jill managed to get Gabby off her mind, even if for just a little bit. Oh, that's good. Okay, let's save that there as well. Bang, 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 bang. That's good. What's on the augmented eye? Biker gang arrested after vandalism during protests. The members of one of the largest biker gangs in the Motor City sector were arrested after the group's leader and her entourage were found at the site of protest last Friday. Their leader, commonly known as Coming down in the streets as Christine Love declared to the press that they were unjustly arrested and that their gang was only there to defend the protesters from the White Knights. They're afraid of us, they know they can't take us down in the streets, so they used protesters as a shield and we had no option but to surrender. Love told AE during a phone conversation. Uh, they're currently detained and waiting for trial. The formal charges are unknown so far. Cool. Oh yeah. Parliament discusses anime influence. During an unusual meeting held at Parliament today, delegates discussed the effects of anime on the population. It's nothing but filth, trash, a representative for the Workers' Party yelled during the meeting. If I could choke every single writer and animator out there, I'd do it. I'd choke them with my own enhanced hands. Several anime studios' heads have responded to the news. I think they would ban it if it wasn't bringing so much money into the local market, Yamake, a producer, told the Augmented Eye during a phone interview. I do agree that anime is trash, but... <laughs> I'll save the genre. You can trust me. Wow, game. Shots at, shots at your own people. Cool. Okay, 
go to work. We can probably hit the next break and then go from there in the next stream. Then we'll have like a couple days left. Good evening. Hey, Jill. Let's have a New Year's party this Saturday. Isn't that a bit soon? Why? Did some famous... Did someone get... Did someone famous... Sorry. Did someone famous get killed at a New Year's party? No, I mean... Never mind. Sure, I'm in for it. Great. And Gil? He's coming too. I mean, it's not like he has anything else to do. Hey. No, I mean... Where is he? He was escorting a client to visit the station. He should be back any second now. Back! See? So you coming to the New Year's party too, Gil? It's not like I have anything else to do, so... I told you. Oh god, we're depressing people. Oh yeah, the kid from the other day, Gabby, I think he called her, asked me to give you this. I believe it's a note. A note? Gabby? Let's see. First of all, I want to apologize for my behavior before. I was still hurt by my sister's death, and it wasn't fair to take, you all, take out all the stress on you, let alone put the blame on you. And so, it feels weird to ask this of you after how I treated you, but I really want to talk to you. I want to catch up, to, I want to catch up, to chat for a while, to do what you were doing with me before I lashed out. I want to understand this freedom you talked about, the fear that drove you to a fight with my sister. I'll go back to the bar on the 31st. I won't take much of your time. If you don't want to see me after all that, I understand. But please, I really want to talk to you, Gabby. Wow, that girl has a big vocabulary. She was always a smart one. Hmm. The 31st is written in different handwriting. Oh yeah, she asked me when would when you would be here and relatively free, so I told her about the party. I also assumed you'd say yes to the party, which might not have been the best idea now that I think about it. But boss, I'm having second thoughts about coming to the party. But why? But because I don't really want to face Gabby again. <sighs> now it's coming back to me. What drove me to never go back and apologize after all these years. Fear and shame. Shame because I don't know how I made a hideous, stupid, uh, a hideously stupid mistake, and it's, and you know, it's painful to face your mistakes. And fear of what they might say. With Lenore, we never broke up formally, so I was always afraid that if we were to meet again, she'd break up with me. And I don't want Gabby to tell me that she hates me to my face. Lenore was in the right to break up with me, and Gabby's in the right to hate me, but. I don't want her to. Maybe if I never see her again, she'll never tell me that and... Chill, you idiot. Huh? You're thinking backwards. Didn't the letter say she wanted to understand you? If you bail out on this, she will hate you. Not only that, but you're getting a new chance here. Do you want to live out the rest of your life running away from another memory? Didn't you just say to Armitage that you hated feeling like that? Armitage? Titty hacker. Alma, right. I don't know what happened when you fought with that girl's sister, but now you have a chance to make amends. And not only that, you have us watching your backs. So I want you to think about this. One day of fear or a lifetime filled with regret. Which one do you pick? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I hated the feeling like I hated feeling like that. I won't run away this time. Good. Because I would have gone to your apartment and dragged you out of there if need be. Hey boss. Thanks. That's what friends are for. Yeah. Anyway, let's start the day. I haven't changed the music in a bit, so let's do that now. Let's just go back from the start. Neon Glow, Welcome to Valhalla, Commencing Simulation. Just the usuals. Uemoto. Time to mix drinks and save lives. Seriously though, it's the second note that stirred such a feeling in me. The second one. Two weeks ago I got another note in the mail and this one is from Lenore. Was an envelope you took away with me from in a panic? Yep. You haven't opened it. Why not open it with Gabby? You're facing one fear. Might as well face the other. Maybe. Don't push her, chief. I'm not. I just know she's capable of doing all that. I'll go secure stuff for the party. Call me if you need anything. Keep it up, Jill. Thanks. Happy holidays! Someone's happy. We had a party for the staff. I'm sorry. We had a party for the staff and their children. You should have seen the faces of the kids receiving gifts. 
nabbing that Santa suit all the last minute, the other day was a totally worth it. Santa dresses seem to have been popular this year. I heard they were sold out in most places. There was this weird shortage of Santa suits, but luck was on my side this year. <clears throat> Sorry for that uh, outburst. Why? He looks so happy. I felt happy too. You shouldn't hide your happiness. Um, anyway, can you give me a cobalt velvet, please? Sure. Cobalt velvet. Two aldehydes, three flanner guides, and five karma trees. All in the rocks. Next. Here. Thanks. Are you meeting with Say today? She should be here in a bit. She told me she wanted a drink here and since I was coming here too. Sadly, I can't stay for long. I have to run some, I have some errands to run. How's she been lately? She's better. Her wounds have been healing nicely. If only she stops scratching at her bandages so often. What about her eye? Eye? Oh, hers. Sorry. <clears throat> It'll take longer to heal, but as long as it's kept clean, there should be no problem. But to be honest, I'm worried about her emotional wounds. She doesn't know it, but she's had depressive bouts from time to time. And who can blame her? Her life has completely changed. The job she loved no longer exists, and she was used as a disposable pawn in the whole bank affair. I'm afraid it'll make, all her, make her go... Back to her old ways. Old ways? There was a rough spot with Say as a teen. Her mom's clinic was about to close, then her biological father, who was an asshole, asshole showed up. And the teachers at her school did not help. Say is not a slow learner by any means, but her ways of learning stuff is, is different. She needs equivalences to things she knows. You need to get it, you can get bit in her, in her mindset. Once you get there, she is a fast learner, but schools don't have that kind of patience. They basically branded her a failure, so, and she even dropped out. I would have suggested a special course somewhere else, but that would have offended her. She's always been against being labeled as a special or different. Anyway, Say was totally different during that period. Pff, foul mouth, short fused. Always frowning, the total opposite of how she is nowadays. From time to time, I see that old look cross her face and it scares me. You're comparing her to her teen self though, people mature. Maybe she'll show signs from time to time, but I bet Say knows better than to go back to that. I hope so. Get me something cold and sweet, will you? Sure. Let's go by sweet and cold. All mixed. All aged, all mixed. All aged, all mixed. And the rocks blended, so we got a moon blast. All aged, all mixed. Nope, just the moon blast. One, two, three, four, five, six. One delta, one fire guy, two carmatrines. All on the rocks blended. Nice. Stop. Moon blast. Here you go. Thank you. That's the kind of stuff that Say asks for, you know. Then that you mention it. So I take it Say's family situation isn't exactly fine and dandy, huh? It's a mess. They've tried to fix over time and I'm glad to say they've actually done it. Say's mom had a really abusive relationship with Say's biological father. Sadly, like many women in that situation, she tried to justify his actions. But apparently, things got nasty with Say's mom. Miss Emmy got pregnant. At that point, she had an epiphany, one could say. She didn't want that guy to raise her child, so finally she sought help. Things weren't so easy, though. Before the authorities could take him away, Miss Emmy got a serious beating from him. He still uses a cane to walk, thanks to that. She moved her. She moved here. Say was born. She started her veterinary clinic. So, did he come back? He was drunk and couldn't find any drugs, so he made it to the city. Because they rackers for a couple of days until they managed to scare him off. How? She beat him near to death. Street times. Oh my god. Sorry, I shouldn't laugh, but... Oh, don't worry, I laughed too. This dramatic irony there is delicious. I've been wondering, can you really... 
be so calm in the lower parts of the city? Hmm. I mean, the streets are not exactly safe. And a cat boomer is sure to become a target. Well, I have my security staff with me at all times, so there's no problem. Besides, this part of the city is comfier. Come again? Sure, Uptown is a cleaner and maybe more secure, but it's also too sterile. Around here, you can actually feel the warmth of the people. You feel their people living. I especially like going to a busy food stand. I feel a warmth there that Uptown does not have. It's also easier to talk to people. He finally came. Welcome! If you try to talk to someone in the upper part of the city, they either shrug you off or flat out ignore you. People around here are a bit wary, but they're also more likely to talk to you. Not that things aren't nice there, though. Can I get you something? I feel like having a beer. Makes that two. But I just want one. I'm asking for some <laughs> I'm asking one for me, adding to one to your order. Oh, that, right. Two beers for the ladies. One Aldehyde, two Bronsons, one Delta, two Flanner Guides, four Karma Trains. Nice. One Aldehyde, two Bronsons, one Delta, two Flanner Guides, four Karma Trains. Hell yeah. Here you go. Thank you. Thanks. Say, you should have seen the kids after you left. They were all playing with the toys you picked. You nailed it again this year. They were all asking, where's Say, where's Say? Why don't they call you just Say when they call me Auntie Stella? I don't look that old. <laughs> don't worry, they still like you. Sorry, I had to leave, but mom worked overtime that night and I couldn't leave her alone. What's happened? Well, there were fireworks and some dog thought it'd be safe to hide in the jar. The little guy managed to get his head and, and a paw inside before getting stuck. And it was a plastic, so they couldn't just try and break it. That's messy. She needed someone to hold the dog while she worked. Poor fellow was scared. Well, I'm out. Oh, yeah. Well, have a new year. We have a new. Well, sorry. We'll have a new year's party this Saturday if you want to come. Sure. It's better than depressing myself with my dad's woes about the next fiscal year. I'll be here. Bye, Jill. Bye, Say. Careful. Please come again. You wanna come too? I'd love to. I'll also make up for not coming last time. How was the party? Pretty nice. We played Truth or Dare, had some fun, broke some glasses, ate lots and lots of food. Seriously, looking back, the amount of food was ridiculous compared to the number of people who were there. Better leftovers than left hanging, don't you think? Yeah, that's true. Can I get you something? Let's try something classy. Okay. Something classy, but she also likes sweet. Classy drinks. So, Bad Touch, Sour Classy Vintage. Sweet Classy Happy. Okay, so Brantini sounds like her thing. Bubbly Classy Strong. Bubbly Classy Burning. Sour Classy Burning. Okay, we'll go with the, um, the Brantini. That seems like more her vibe. Three deltas and one karma tree. All aged, all mixed. One branty. Something classy. Yep, this is the thing. Stella came in quite cheery about Sunday. This Sunday? Yeah. Well, you know, her birthday is actually the 25th. Really? There's a weird story from when she was a kid. She heard Mega Santa's story and somehow she got into her head that by being born on the 25th, she was a spiritual reincarnation of the original Santa. That made her start giving out gifts like crazy. She got over it, but the gift thing stuck to her. Spiritual reincarnation? Well, the story says that Redmond family destroyed Santa's spirit, and that Mega Santa was reborn as a manifestation of the Christmas spirit. So she thought when she was the old Santa spirit in a new body. <laughs> that girl was delusional as a kid. Huh. Speaking of things you did when you were young, Stella mentioned she was worried about you going back to your old ways. Something about a rough period where you were angry or something. Oh, that. It's sweet that she's worried, but I won't go back to those days just like that, though. Even if I faced the same situation, I'm more mature, you know. I'm not a teen anymore. I expected as much. 
Told her as much. Hey, can you get me something bubbly? Sure. Something bubbly for the bubbly girl. Okay. We got her cobalt velvet last time, right? No, we didn't. We got someone else something. We gave it to um to Kim. Maybe a beer? Fringe Weaver. I don't know if that's a good one for her. Bubbly Classic Blend. Now nah, let's give her the just to give her a beer. The beer is safe. All mixed. Beer. Here you go. Bubbly, bubbly. Hey, Jill. This might seem a bit random, but... Do you remember the first time I came in here? Yeah, you're the second white knight I've served. I remember. Why? Precisely because of that. I mean to ask you about the story. How was your other experience with a white knight? If I had to put it simply, the total opposite of you. Oh? She came here as part of her work, looking for information on some case. I went through the motions, offering her a drink and all that, but she came only for her job. At first I thought she was just another private eye, but she showed me her badge and all. What kind of case was it? Mm, I wouldn't know. She never told me, but she asked if I saw some people. She got pretty intense when I told her that I had no idea who she was talking about. I suggested that she ask the vending machines outside, and they told her the suspect climbed on them. She got her info, then she left. Pretty professional, if a bit, you know, intimidating. She seemed personally invested in the case, though. The way she lost her cool was a bit suspicious. You seem to be pretty good at reading people, Jill. It makes me kind of jealous. Nah, no, I'm not good at that. It's just a coincidence that I noticed it. But you noticed it. I'm not good at reading people, even if the cue was thrown in my face. I don't be able to see it. I'm sure you can compensate with another skill. Any particular reason you asked me about that event? Not really. I just found the fact that I was the only other white knight you served weird. I mean, really? Just two? Weird, I know. I spent most of my life with almost no interactions with white knights until I met you. Means you've had a nice life then. That sounded creepier than I thought. A bit, yeah, but no. Well, I'm done for today. Thanks, Jill. Please come again. I'll go take my break, girl. Sure. Ooh, yo, can we finish the day at the by the end of the stream? Potentially. Let's see. Let's save. If we get through this, we can actually do the last three days on stream. And that could actually be kind of good. I wonder if I left food for four. Okay, I'm he- Um, Dorothy? Oh, fuck. Sorry, my headset died again. It always dies midstream! I never have a full headset on on stream. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> I told you. I know. <laughs> You won't get through the bar anytime soon. You can stop walking. Ah, honey. You want something? The usual, I guess. Usual, use, well, use, well. I wonder what's wrong with her. What is Dorothy's usual? I actually can't remember. So I don't know if it's the one to sober her up or if it's the piano woman. And I don't remember the one to sober her up with. This one over here. Dragon Sugar Rush is the usual one. The usual one is the Sugar Rush, and I think it was the Piano Woman, but I'm not 100% sure either. I don't think it was the Piano Woman. So the Sugar Rush? A Sugar Rush. What 
Ethereum 15. Hold on. Is it just a piano woman? And I cannot find anything. Okay, we'll go Piano Woman because that's that was her favorite. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three. All aged, all mixed. Here you go. This is nice. Nice. N nice. N ice? Okay, you're freaking me out. What's up with you? Hey, honey, how do you know what's real? How uh, so? I mean, how do you know if what you see is an actual thing? How can you tell if what you see around you is actually happening? What tells you everything is not actually a fabrication? What tells me I'm not just a simulation in a computer? And those ponderings brought you to the bar? What? Oh, I'm in the bar? Am I? Dorothy? So you're having a slop slopsistic crisis of sorts. Slop for what? Uh, Soliopsism, the theory that self is the only thing that can be known to exist. See, that's another thing right there, that word. Slopsism, what does it even mean? Where the hell did it come from? Well, solus means alone and ips means self. Yes, but how did it come to be? Do you expect me to believe that a lot of people just randomly decided to make noises? And decide, hey, let's make this noise mean this. It doesn't make sense. Words don't make sense. I've been repeating words for a long time and they've stopped making sense. Why? Calm down. That's just semantics and situations. Stop making up words, honey. And there's this counter. How can I be sure that the counter is really here? It is. Please stop tapping it. Hold on. Just making sure. I should make her a drink. At the very least, I have something to throw at her. Alright, they mentioned the rum. Stop tapping the counter so much. I'm this close to throwing this at you. Sorry. <sighs> okay, let's start from the beginning. Since when did you have this existential crisis? Since earlier today, I think. I was remembering the good times I had with Mo, my guardian. But I don't know, it was all too sudden. I was thinking about everything that happened from a week ago until now. How much fun I was having, how much I loved everyone around me. And out of nowhere, the thoughts started piling up in my mind. What is love? What is fun? Are those feelings real? Is all of that real? Am I real? What tells me I'm actually in a body? What if I'm just some computer somewhere thinking that it has a body? What if I'm just a human girl in a comatose dream? What tells me that you're real? Huh? For all I know, I might just be a figment of someone's imagination. Or even just an AI simulation in some computer that thinks it's a human. I've been there, Dorothy. That existential doubt and crisis, that uncertainty about whether or not things are real. It was a couple of months only, but I remember having panic attacks and scratching my arm to feel something. But the panic attack gave me a rush of adrenaline, so I couldn't feel the scratch of the fears and the scratch got worse. What did you do to get over it? Oddly enough, I read a book. The Last Rain in the World, one of my favorites. At one point I cried when the book and I realized I was crying over fake things, the story, and its characters. I didn't care less for them because they were fake. Why not think of reality like that too? Even if I'm a figment of someone's imagination, I'd still care about you. That's what I told myself at least. It wasn't immediate, but that focus helped me. Huh, I like it. Hey, can I take this doink? I made it for you. Thanks, okay then. Splash. <laughs> <sighs> Why, why'd you throw on your head? To feel something you made. And? It burns and itches a bit. I'll get you a towel. Delivery for Dana Za- Oh, I've been here before. Hey, Mr. Mario, welcome back. I have a delivery for uh, Dana Zane. Uh, who's that? 
Who is that? She's my boss. I'll get it for her. Right. Uh, sign here, please. It's a big package. I wonder what's inside. You should open it. If it's something perishable, maybe it'll need to go be refrigerated. Let's see. It's a... Uh, a wiener? A really big wiener. Hey, honey. Hmm? The big package had a big wiener inside. <laughs> what will your boss? What will your boss do with such a thing? I don't know how she'll. Cook, I don't know how she'll cook it. Perhaps she'll chop it. Honey, seems the wiener is too big to eat correctly. St st stop. Maybe you could prepare some right now. What do you say, honey? Do you want some of your boss's wiener? <laughs> I don't. Seriously, Jill. She's the <laughs> making the jokes. And you're the one trying not to laugh too hard at them. Anyway, we all know if we dare cook it without her permission, she'll hang us upside down. She'll hang me upside down. Hey, check it, boy. What's your name? I'm Mario. Come on, Mario. Come on, Mario. I'll buy you a drink. Hmm. You might have never delivery, you know. This is the last one, actually. I'll accept your offer. I'll have a sunshine cloud. And you? I'm fine. Un sunshine cloud for Mario. One, two, one, two. We'll throw him some alcohol. He's done working. On the rocks, blended. Hell yeah. You earned this drink, Mario. You fucking earned this one. Here you go. Thank you. Hey, um, call me Dorothy. You can also call me Darling for the right amount. Yeah, Dorothy, why did you buy me a drink? Just to let you know, I don't swing that way. What way? Well, um, I'm a man's man. I like men, okay? Oh, he's finally accepted himself. Not that there's anything wrong with liking women, but... Oh, don't worry. I wasn't hitting on you. I was just thanking you. Thanking me? Your package let me see Honey here laughing like an idiot. It's easier than you think. That made me happy, and I... Dunno. It fit with what she was telling me earlier. I'm more calm when I, that when I answered. <laughs> Glad to help, I guess. Well, duty calls. Bye, Mario. Bye, John. Bye, honey. Enjoy your big wiener. Out with you. She seems like a nice girl. I don't mean for it to sound like I... I get it, I get it. Don't worry. You like guys, it's clear. Speaking of, you like motorcycles, don't you? Don't you? Don't you? What the fuck? I do, yes. Have you been to the motor district? I spent all of my free time in the motor district, actually. Why? Is it true what they say about all the illegal races that are going on in there? You're not a cop, are you? As far as I remember, I'm still a bartender, so not a cop. Well, I mean, there are illegal races, but there's also a semi-illegal league going on there. Semi-illegal? The, the authorities acknowledge that there's races going on. They don't know what goes on in them. How what goes on in them? However, modified engines, casualties, substance abuse, the illegal ones end up being safer in the end. Huh? Have you heard about a biker called Christine Love? Hmm, Miss Love, of course. Everyone knows who she is. What about her? Is her gang as dangerous as they say? I do not know. Nobody knows. Excuse me. They look intimidating enough, but truth is, nobody has faced them directly. Moreover, nobody wants to be the one that got beaten to a pulp if they turn out to be what they seem. So, her gang is just there, menacingly doing their own thing, not bothering anyone. Hmm. Okay. Do you anything else? I'll have a piano man. Alright. A piano man for Mario. Piano man. Two aldehydes, three Bronson extracts, five powder deltas, five flanner guides, three carmatrines, and on the rocks and mixed. What? Two, three, five, five, three. All on the rocks mixed. What? Two aldehydes. Three Bronson extracts. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Ice mixed. What happened there? 
Here you go. Yes, this is nice. This will sound weird, but do you believe in replibots? Replibots? There's the belief that some Lilim out there are designed to perfectly replicate a particular human. That someone or something replaces those humans with such Lilim. Thus, they call themselves Replibots. You know a lot about this. I don't. It's in most magazines nowadays. Well, it's the first time I've heard of it. What about it? On my way here, I almost ran over my neighbor. He just showed up in the middle of the street. And I say almost because he moved really quickly out of the way. Then I went to deliver a package and on somehow my neighbor was there. Almost immediately after the whole thing. And he was there the whole time. Maybe it was someone that looked like him. He had the same looks, clothes and mannerisms. Trust me, you know a perfect replica when you see one. And you saw the kid Lilim here? They could easily pass off as humans. There are even Lilim idol singers nowadays whose voices can pass off as human. They could be passing off as humans under our very own noses, replacing us little by little. At this point in time, I really doubt it. Lilim behavior is a bit different, and you can easily tell someone's a Lilim because they seem... How do I put this? They don't care about risks and danger as much as we do. They treat risks a lot more with leniency. A lot with a lot more leniency. Still, be careful. Keep an eye out for any uncanny doppelgangers. I am leaving. Thank you for everything. Tagliotelli. Please come again. What's your take on the Replobot thing? Do you believe in them? Do you? Not really, but I asked you first. When I was in high school, I had this irrational fear of aliens. I was paranoid that they would come. What would I do then? I remember I lost lots of sleep because of it. That doesn't answer my question. Let me finish. After many months of fear, I reached a conclusion that might as well apply here. It's useless to be afraid. I'm but a simple woman. I wouldn't be able to do shit against them. So I'd rather live without being afraid, because the memories of not being afraid will be my only solace when the, uh, the Nivuli crabs invade. Nebulae crabs, the bully Jesus. Uh, I mean, when the Replobots come. Jill, are you still afraid of aliens? What part of its uses to be afraid didn't you catch? Right. Back, did anything happen? I discovered I have a sense of humor for an eight year old. Did anything new happen? Hey, they brought you a package. Ah, yes, my curated wiener. It's a gift from my folks. It was delayed in customs, but here it is. You guys want some of it? Jill. That's a new one. No mistakes. Hell yes. And we got nine grand, which means we can pay for her fucking rent. Jill wonders if... Oh, we're still kind of short. Shit. Jill wonders if Maneki Nekos actually bring luck, but I want to prevent her from getting too distracted. Okay. Maneki Nekos... Which means we at least get a grant for next shift, which means we'd have rent in time. Just a couple days in time. And we are on day 16 now, which means if we just did three days in the next stream, we could finish this game. So maybe long stream to finish the game. Let's save again. And we can just end here. Boom. Hell yeah. Thank you for everyone who popped by today. Rika, Cheetah, both of y'all made it really nice. Anyone watching Davar, I appreciate your time. Just watching the game and coming back through it. Um, we'll be back on Thursday with some tarot. We're going to do some late night readings. Hopefully the energy in my body is not too low after work. And that I can continue to do readings for at least an hour, hour and a half. For like two hours. One hour and a half to two hours. That's the plan. For Thursday but for tonight it's two minutes to ten I'm gonna take a break I gotta wake up for work tomorrow thank you goodbye you know the usual take care of yourselves appreciate yourselves celebrate your little victories in life and yeah I will see you guys on Thursday goodbye